first into the tank tonight, a former skateboard champion with an invention to take the sport to new heights. Every athlete in every sport is looking for a slight edge that will take them to that next level. That's what we're doing here. Skaters that use it will have that edge. Hello, Sharks. I'm David Hill. My, my business is DHD Skate. And tonight I'll be seeking $160,000. In return, I'm offering 20% equity in the production and marketing side of the business. Skateboards, back 30 years ago, used to use trucks like that. David, sorry to interrupt. A truck, I'm assuming, is a technical term for sort of an axle for the wheels, yes, this, is it? This, all of these items here are called skateboard trucks. Skateboard trucks. So it's part of the construction that holds the wheels. OK, got it. Most of the development of these trucks has taken place with the truck almost in isolation from the wheels. To me, as an ex-skateboard champion and successful marketer of skateboard products around the world, that's the failing that, that people are missing. And it's stopping skateboarders doing the sorts of things that most uh, top-level sports people want to do, which is to take uh, a slight edge to the next level. And we've seen that in so many sports over the years where minor changes have made huge differences to market share. In surfing, Simon Anderson with the Trifin surfboard, which took 90% of the market after yep. two years, still 30 years later, that's the standard. And that's the secret to what I'm proposing here. This is the, the prototype. All of the changes that are involved are inside this section, which is called the hanger, and in the way the wheels are mounted onto the hanger. And it offers huge advantages in stability of the wheel system, which allows skaters to, do, to uh, get better feel for all the sorts of tricks that they do. And that's the sort of thing that you're looking for in an edge. You said you're a skater. I'm interested in your background. You, did you say you were a skater? I was a, a, a champion in the early days of skateboarding. I promoted the sport in its early days. I built, uh, designed and, and got investment for the first commercial skate park in Australia in the day when skateboards were regarded as hula hoops. <laughs> Please excuse me, I'm not in the skating world. But you're What's a surfer, aren't you? I am a surfer, they don't have wheels. Yeah? <laughs> um, so, dif difference between that one and that one. Why, why would I buy that, not that? The key thing that a skateboarder has to do is a move called an ollie, which allows the skateboard to defy logic because it jumps into the air and follows the skateboarder. And I'm sure you've all seen that sort of thing right. where the skateboard goes up into the air. So the first thing it'll do is it allows an increase of around about 5% in height. How? David, what's the improvement? What are you selling us, mate? What are you selling us? What I'm selling you is an improvement in the stability of the wheel system. And how have you done that then? Have you, 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 you said you had a patent going, is that right? I have a patent, yeah. Right, so excellent. So you can tell us how it works then. Uh, no. Why not? You have a patent. Right, there are limits to what I can tell you. With this type of product, if I was to tell you too much about it, then everybody and his dog would be would be producing this. I'm sorry, but to, I do no, know that in order to register a patent, you actually yeah. have to tell people about it. It's uh, not a trade secret. You don't lock it in a safe. When you do a patent, it actually goes into a database that people can search, right? Uh, not, not when it's a provisional patent. Dave, so right now you're telling us that you're not going to tell us how it works, but you want us to invest in it? Yes. David, is it not difficult, if not unreasonable, though, to ask someone to invest a large amount of money in something that we don't really know what it is? Right, well, what it, what it is is not as important, in my mind, as what it does for skateboarders. No, no it's important. You're asking us to drop in yeah. 160K into something. You, you've got to be forthcoming to tell us what it is. If you have paint protection, you have paint protection. Mm -hmm. You're fine. That's, you're fine. You are, you are covered. So, unless we can discover more about it, unless I can yeah. discover more about it in the next 30 seconds, I've got an answer for you real quick, David. Yep. It's control. It's how you control that board in the air with your feet. You can't touch it with your hands, you can only control it with your feet. And it's a very, very fine science. Here are two trucks, they look almost the same. This one's under $100. This one's almost $500. Much the same weight, much the same sort of design. But many skaters, will pay that sort of money to get a slight edge. I have another question for you in your, in your presentation. You said $160,000 for 
for the production and marketing side of the business. Yeah. What does that mean? It doesn't include the IP. By IP, you mean your intellectual property? Yep. Oh, oh good oh. I'm out. So wait a sec, you won't actually tell us how it works. And we don't get and the we're IP. Not, we're not actually oh, investing in it. I am so out, so out, so yeah. out, so out. So ah, you're not going to tell us how it works, and you're not going to let us hear You want the money for us not to invest in, in the core the IP. intellectual property of the product. Is that the case? No, no, the IP is in a separate company. <laughs> right? Just explain that. Why would you exclude the IP from the deal if you're looking for a partnership? I don't see that there's a lot of money to be made from the IP unless you sold it. I'm sorry, but every dollar you're going to earn is going to rely on the protection of the intellectual property yes. to do that. Licenses. And you're actually saying to the investor, no, 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 you get no share of that. The only value is actually in the That's IP. That's the only value there is. I could put that in a lot worse ways. I could say, well, they're trying to screw me. Well, my intention is certainly not to exclude you from... Oh, actually, no, I'm done with you. I'm out as well, David. Right, OK. David, I don't think I've ever been more confused by a presentation. Mm -hmm. I'm out. Yeah, David, look, I, I think you've made it impossible. You've excluded the IP, which I'm not sure why. You won't tell us really the detail of what the secret source is, even though mm -hmm. you have a patent. And I think that you've made it an uninvestable proposition through lack of disclosure. So for those reasons, I'm also out. OK. Business is all about trust. You know, and um, you know, you've got to really feel that you can trust the person you're in business with yep. and that they'll do what they say they'll do and that they mean what they say. Computer says no. I'm out. Okay. Thank you for coming Thanks, today. Thank you. Thanks, David. Good luck. All the best. Thanks. Very strange. I'm not entirely sure that they, that they understood the sport well enough. Uh, what this really needs is people that are passionate about the sport and who instantly understand what it is I'm presenting. I think we put the skids <laughs> under that one. Oh. <laughs> the wheels fell off his skateboard.